Do you need herringbone in your life? Maybe secretly deep down inside, guys, I've been yearning for herringbone. Do you think drawing herringbone freehand is hard? And <laughs> it's, it's hard, uh, as I'm learning out. You might need the herringbone 2.0 Pro. <laughs> Making this tool is really easy. You need to take a popsicle stick, which is uh, the same width as the uh, tile you want to draw, and uh, cut off the uh, rounded tip. Then you make a gauge mark, which should be around uh, twice the uh, width of the uh, popsicle stick to the inside. That means, for example, if the uh, stick was one centimeter wide, then you'd draw the gauge mark two centimeters in. Once you have your gauge mark, you can uh, Lay the stick against the uh, edge of your piece and use it as a template to do your first brick. Then you turn it 90 degrees, lay it along the uh, adjacent edge and put, make sure that the gauge mark is on the uh, brick I've just drawn. And then you can keep drawing and turning the stick 90 degrees every time until you have your pattern. I found that uh, making a diagonal line of uh, L-shaped tiles is usually the easiest way to get started, because once that's in place, it's much easier to draw the rest. Another technique to make herringbone pattern tiles is to cut lots of uh, little bricks, as demonstrated by uh, Tina Martins. You want the bricks to be uh, in a 2 to 1 ratio, so they want to be uh, twice as long as they are wide. And then you can just lay them out in the same way that we uh, drew the pattern earlier. I have mixed feelings about this technique because I think it does look better, but you also have to cut out all the little bricks, which can be a pain. Now, both these techniques are uh, a lot faster than what Colin was doing on the stream. But I want to make it very clear that I didn't make this video to shit on Colin, for a number of reasons. First off, he's a great guy, I love his streams. Second one, what he was doing there was great. He just found a new idea and he started playing around with it. And that's a great thing. I mean, as a crafter or uh, if you're practicing any skill really, just taking the time to play with something, even if it's not optimal, even if you don't get the uh, right results you wanted immediately, whatever, you're still expanding your uh, horizons, which is fantastic. And, you know, it's something you're doing as a hobby, it's something you're doing to relax or have fun. And that's great. Exploring things like that just uh, gives you a lot of options. And it might not take you to the place that you're planning to get to, but it will definitely be somewhere eventually. One thing that Colin mentioned that was very smart was this. I absolutely am in love with the fact that you suggested the herringbone tile. It's something I hadn't done before. Had you not suggested that, then Carl doesn't pull out his 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 stick and create the v pattern and create a solution for all of us if we don't have a roller right so now we have that piece of information moving forward that's why it's brilliant dungeon matron because it's a collective community right like <laughs> everyone i'm sure has their own way they would go about solving it which would be much more efficient than any every way i just demonstrated here on this stream now that could have been phrased better but I totally agree with him. And although personally I think that uh, crafting is a solitary activity, you know, I don't really get crafting when you're talking to other people, whatever. I can't give people my full attention if I'm crafting, and I can't give crafting my full attention if I'm talking to people. Being able to uh, bounce ideas off in a community is fantastic. If you just stick to your own uh, stuff, your own ideas, your own things, you're going to be... Uh, limited by your imagination, whatever sources you look at, that kind of thing. And even in things like this, you know, when this started, I wasn't planning to uh, make any herringbone patterns, but now I know how to do that. So if you're interested in crafting and you really want to improve, it's uh, great to have a community around you. If you're on Facebook, I definitely suggest looking at the Tabletop Crafters Guild. Fantastic place, lots of ideas and uh, tips there. People are extremely helpful. One more place to look, of course, is the Crazy Crafters live stream. Uh, I, like I said, I love his streams. And he's also got a really good Discord community. One thing I like about the uh, Crazy Crafters streams in particular is that uh, 
Colin is giving a platform to uh, crafters who might not necessarily have a YouTube channel. Although, again, some of the uh, people around there now have started uh, uh, making their own channels. Shoutouts to uh, Zane Morgan, Derek Ludwig from Pocket Tea Crafts, and uh, Sonder from uh, One Die Six Crafting Damage. Again, links in the description below if you want to check any of these out, which I strongly suggest you do. So, uh, that was my uh, rant for the evening. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great time. See you around.